Welcome Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. This is intended for Twin Flames. However, it can still resonate for you. Please take what resonates, leave what does not. We're going to refer to Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine is the person who is less awoken, usually running from the connection. We're not talking about a physical gender, can be male or female. Um, the Divine Feminine is the one who is more emotional, more awoken to the connection. So let's get started here. What is the energy here for the Scorpio Collective? Uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you are intuitively drawn here, whether regardless of your intimate life situation or not, this can still resonate from, for you. Okay. <clears throat> we have received under the deck. I'm noticing that. Okay, so we have signs here. So I think that someone is specifically being guided in a specific direction. Definitely seeing signs, synchronicities from the universe. We have surrender. Someone's having a hard time fighting it at this point. We have numbing, which someone could have been doing, trying to kind of block out this connection or trying to run from it, trying to hide from it. We have the fifth dimension, however. So I feel like the two of you are still very much connected. And this person is constantly being reminded of you. And with Purge here, I feel like there's something this person does need to release and kind of cleanse out of their life. Something that has held them back, this kind of behavior, this pattern that they've kind of held on to for maybe some time. Um, but I do feel like this person is like seeing songs. I think you are as well. I think you may wonder about that. Are they seeing this? Are they hearing the same songs on the radio? Are they hearing my name just as often as I hear theirs? Are they seeing things that remind them of me? Yes, they are. They're seeing them. There's signs, synchronicities all around them. You know, they're constantly being bombarded with numbers and songs, lyrics, names, things that even people who look like you. Okay, they're constantly seeing them. Um, surrender, and they've tried to fight it. They've tried to kind of numb themselves out from what they feel, trying to hide, run from the connection, but they're they're no longer able to resist. They're no longer able to fight it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pull um, some more cards. We're gonna move these to the side. And we're going to look at the Divine Masculine first. What are his thoughts about the Feminine and their connection? His feelings? What does he feel about their situation? His feelings for the Divine Feminine? His intentions or what he feels needs to happen here? And the actions that he can he will take that she can expect from him towards her. Okay, so let's start with the Divine Masculine's thoughts. What does he think about the Feminine and their connection? He feels, uh, well, he, well, he thinks that you know, she could be somebody who works a lot, or he could. Uh, Eight of Coins is like, you know, working really hard, planning, like trying to achieve something. Like there's some there's some kind of in game or goal in mind of like a promotion or create a business or get or get any information that's necessary. It's like he thinks that there's something that needs to be um, discovered or worked really hard towards to be able to to move forward he has to have some kind of information and when i see this particular card i'm always seeing that he's he's in the book here so he's looking at something he's reading he's researching he's he's learning there's something about this connection that he feels like he's unprepared for that's, that's what i want to say thank you spirit that he that he thinks it's like i have to do i have to do better i have to know more i have to be more prepared more cautious with my money or something like that okay let's see He may feel that she's somebody who works very hard and is very abundant and resourceful and he wants to mirror that energy. Okay, so his feelings for the feminine and their connection. He feels committed to her. So some of you actually may already be married to this person, but some of you, okay, or you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He feels committed to her, okay? He feels like she is somebody that he wants to have a life with, wants to have stability with, you know, Someone very strong. It's about endurance. Like, and his, his reputation is important to him. How people perceive him. He wants to look very honorable, very educated, very in control. Wants to look like he's got it all figured out. Like he's got himself together. Like that's important to him. He feels protective of the feminine as well. Like he wants to provide for her. He wants her to feel safe. I'm just noticing. I'm just noticing, you know, the wolf here. It's like, I would do anything to protect you, make you feel safe. I want to be seen as strong in your eyes. Same thing with this buck here. 
you know, I want to be seen as like the top, you know, a lot of times they're trying to impress the females, right? With their antlers and everything, you know, and I'm just getting like this energy of like, just looking very confident, very sure of himself, like just wants her to see him that way. Feels like very protective of the feminine. Feels committed to her. His intentions or what he feels needs to happen here. Some this secret. Is this a secret connection? Is this a secret love affair? Seven of Swords. I feel like there's a meeting. That's it. Thank you, Spirit. He is trying to come up with a plan to see the feminine. He may already be married. I mean, I mean, it could be your boss, but I, I, yeah, I'm really feeling like there's, yeah. He's tried to turn off how he feels. I mean, let's be really honest here. I feel, I, okay, it's, it's coming very clear now. I feel like this masculine has tried to intentionally run from the feminine because he didn't want to compromise his position. Um, it's like he feels like he doesn't feel prepared. It's like he doesn't have enough information. Like he's trying to learn more, trying to understand more. You know, he's already involved in a situation. And so he has tried to numb his heart, run away from the connection, trying to fight his feelings, you know. And now he's thinking, how am I going to meet this feminine? How am I going to see her without being seen or heard? His actions, what can uh, she expect from him? What will he do? This has been a popular card today. Okay, this has come through for Pisces and another sign. I can't remember. Or no, was it Aquarius? There was a couple signs that got this card. Leo energy here. Um, he his he's going to be very strong, calculated. This is about perseverance, pushing through. Like the, it's like he's not going to give up. Okay, not with this energy here. Now he could strongly be a Leo or have strong Leo in his chart, or she may. But this is somebody who's like. I have some kind of presence, right? But I have to be quiet. I'm not going to back down, though. Even if it's difficult, even if it's not easy, I'll go back to the drawing board and figure it out. We'll figure out how to make this work. He's not going to give up. What is the feminine's thoughts about the connection? How does she see this? What does she think about the masculine? Well, so I mean, she feels very attracted to him, you know? Um, but she may see him as connected to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. She may feel that or think that she is the other woman because sometimes the queen of wands can represent like a mistress. She knows that the masculine very much desires her physically, that there is a very strong connection to the two of them. There's passion there, chemistry, but is it just that? She feels like she may be a secret woman or a secret man, right? Gender's irrelevant. What is the... Her feelings about the connection. What does she feel for her mask? Then what does she feel about this connection? The hermit. Virgo energy. She she th she feels that, that her masculine has pulled away from her. That he has gone quiet on her. That this, that this may have just been a fling or an affair for him. That he was not serious about her. She feels like there's separation between the two of them. And she is confused by his actions. She has kind of been evaluating things in her heart. She's been, in her mind, she's been analyzing everything he has told her everything that he's done their history together his his very actions re replaying it in her mind looking at his body language his tone of voice his words the way he spelled things like literally going back to old messages or conversations in her head and looking through them trying to figure out you know what is it he truly feels and wants because she feels very confused and her fear here is that she is just a mistress like it was just for fun that there was that he had no intentions of being serious to her but i do feel like he feels committed to her like he feels like he belongs to her like he is hers and she is his it feels protective his her intentions what does she want to happen or feel like needs to happen here eight of swords you know i feel that she feels like she can come up with the answer like she can just figure it out now she it's like it's like if i just if i if i think about it hard enough if i go back and reread these messages enough times or if i 
replay his body language in my mind or you know I'm gonna come up with a conclusion I'm gonna have the answer I'm gonna be able to make sense of, all, of it all pull a clarifying card for this she may also hope that this masculine is able to see things clearly because she may feel that his you know judgment is clouded or his mind is clouded she hopes that they're able to, despite feeling stuck from each other she hopes that he's able to overcome it that he's able to not back down from it even if it may be difficult that he's able to keep fighting for their relationship you know fighting to come home to her to be back with her to clear something out of his life that he's going to be able to stand up for himself and for their relationship all right so what is her actions or advice for her in regards to her future actions two of wands out of the deck is the ten of cups the queen of swords and the four of wands so what i'm feeling here I feel like there's could we could could possibly be um, an air sign involved, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like she's trying to kind of see the big picture here. You know what's to come. She sees that this masculine has two choices, and she's trying to make a decision for herself. Does she wait for this, or does she walk away from it? I think that subconsciously she's tried to like manifest and like call her masculine back into her and she wonders if he's seeing the signs from the universe as well. I do feel like he is and I do feel like he's waking his way back to her. He can't resist it any longer. There will be communication. There will be a choice for her to make. Because the issue is this. She sees that they could have a beautiful life together, Ten of Cups, but he is already married. And what's standing in the way of them having this is the Queen of Swords, is this other person who is maybe controlling or jealous or manipulative in some way, um, who may even be holding him to some kind of legal binding agreement, okay? He potentially may have a family and a home. And I think a part of her, honestly, is kind of torn between does she want to keep standing here in the middle of this if he's not offering her something. The problem is I think that he will. I think that he's, his intention here is to come in quietly, secretly to communicate with the feminine. I think that she's nervous because she wants to be things to be out in the up, open. She wants things to be public. So I see her looking into the future, trying to... His, his next actions are going to directly affect what she decides to do. Because he's going to have to prove something to her for her to be willing to pursue this connection with him because she sees the potential of what they could have but will he release what he has that's her fear will he fully detach from it that's going to completely depend on her actions if he comes back and says well we're going to keep this quiet you know she is i don't know if i can do this i've been thinking about this too much if he is willing to step out of the shadows i feel like she'll proceed ahead what are some of the obstacles and challenges interfering with this connection please things I feel like you will receive a message from this person we have imprisonment so yeah somebody feels stuck in their situation they feel like all they do is work some of them they, you may actually work with this person they may actually be like your boss or something um, but for others you I feel like this person just kind of stuck like they they're not allowed to go out or talk some of them they may actually have been caught in something and that's why like their messages got read or something and so those persons like trying to, trying to resist trying to be quiet I'm getting really lightheaded you guys um whew. but I feel like um this person all they do is like work go home work go home work go home they, 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 they're, they're like a, it's like they're restricted in some way they're trying to find the path to you i think that they are going to figure out a way to, to be with you to communicate with you again to kind of fill you in on what's been going on because this person doesn't want to be apart from you they can't they're, they're trying to hold back for some for some reason out of fear of things being found out but they're not they're, there's going to be a message coming in there's somebody here who very much appreciates the lifestyle that this person provides for them this person could be very financially resourceful abundant and this person's holding on to them for financial gain. I feel like your person's honestly being really controlled and almost even watched. Their karmic is like 
not allowing them to reach out to you or like preventing them from coming to you. Messages, insight. Wow, okay. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Some of you, they could be saying, I'm going out with my friends after a while and it's actually, they're actually coming to see you. Uh, they could be asking friends to kind of help get you guys in touch again. Wedding, the situation does involve marriage. And look at that. Look at how he's like sitting here tight-lipped. I better smile. I better, you know, look the part. And she's like, yeah, you better look at him. Side eye and him. You better smile for these pictures. You better smile. Stand straight. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you. Now, like I said, I feel like you are manifesting this person's return. They are coming back to you. They are seeing these signs. They're constantly being reminded of you. I think they're just being watched. I think their karmic has them on a short leash. But I don't think it's going to stop them. Alright. They're going to find a creative way to get back to you. Okay. Who else had this card? Someone else did. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the answer is a gateway to the soul. Yeah, this person is kind of recognizing here that they're not happy. And they're being reminded of you. They're, they're, they've been trying to fight it. Trying to kind of forget about you. But they, they weren't able to. They know that somebody needs to be cleansed from their life. There's somebody who is very controlling. This karmic has tried to keep you guys apart, but I don't think it's going to keep working. This person realizes what's going to make them happy, and that's being in communication with you, finding a way to make it work. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for those of you who do send in donations. It is truly appreciated. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.